Well, hello. How is everyone doing? Um, hello, Alexander. Welcome back. Phantom Flutus, Vlad, Eric, hello. Um, <clears throat> let's see. So, Alexander, your, your beautiful wife also plays the flute and approves of the fingering chart graphics on the uh, Jax merch. Thank you. Uh, please say thank you to your lovely wife for me. Um, I am quite pleased <laughs> with my own design. Um, it's kind of like the one design that I feel like really works with my brand because it's like, you know, you can you can tell that it's hand drawn. Um, and um, I've actually uh, I, I've put it on a few things um, of of my own. <laughs> one in particular um i don't know if i ever told you guys but um we ended up getting uh, nice ddr pads and um i put my uh because we can get custom art on it so i put my flute design right in the middle um i put it as a as a circle so i put two of them together and then i turned it into a circle I really like that look. I actually want to put that on a shirt sometime. Um, it's the same flute keys, but they're arranged in a circle and it's two flutes. And, uh, you know, if you don't know what it is, you don't know what it is. But if you do know what it is, then you're a knower. And, uh, you know, like I, I just like how um, simple and, um, and how nice it looks. So, um, I haven't really gotten back into making merch yet so because i'm still trying to get sort of like the rest of my life in order um but you know that's uh i appreciate the appreciation from your wife alexander uh thank you <laughs> but yeah do you yeah eric is mentioning the one that um that hubs made <laughs> that's his drawing um those letters um it's great uh i i just it was supposed to be an april fool's thing but then i decided to just leave it up because people really liked it so um you know i was like whatever i'm not gonna take it off the shop um but yeah it was that was just meant as a joke um uh, beth hello uh, how am I feeling? I, I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, I would say I'm just a bit tired. Um, Hubs is doing better, but not a hundred percent. Um, his, um, I, I didn't mention it yesterday, but during the stream, just cause you know, it's a sponsored stream and I didn't want to, um, kind of detract too far from the actual review, but I could hear him coughing. So if, if I looked at all slightly distracted yesterday, that was why, because I could hear him coughing and I was, um, I think starting to like, just like mildly freak out a little bit. So, um, you know, um, but he's, uh, he's doing better though. He's doing much, much better. Um, and, uh, but yeah, I, I'm gonna guess he, um, probably, with how the cough is going and knowing um, how I experienced it back in October, I'm gonna guess it's a whole nother week until he makes a full recovery. So yes, yesterday was sponsored. I think I said it at the beginning and at the end of the stream, but yeah, it was sponsored by Woodify. Um, so yeah, um, <laughs> thank you, Alexander, for saying that it's a, delightful unique design i i'm really glad that uh, that you guys appreciate it um yeah i really like it um i um i was thinking um that i would like that design on a few more things maybe more flute centric things um it's just that that takes a lot of work and that's the amount of work that goes into that um uh, is not something i am prepared for right now <laughs> so um I've decided to put those put that thought on hold. I want to make sure that I'm actually delivering content um, because that's really what you guys are here for is for content. Um, so I decided, yeah, I'm just going to focus on putting out content, putting out good quality content. Um, you know, like as much as I want to do more merch, um, I feel like 
as of right now, it's kind of a distraction from what I really want to do, which is stream and, you know, make reviews and, you know, all the nerdy things. So, but yeah, there you go. That's where we're at. So, um, you know, I'm not super perky today as, as you guys can probably tell from the way I'm talking. Um, uh, but I'm very happy to be here and, um, like the playing the flute and practicing the flute has truly become kind of a source of comfort for me. Um, the flute is always here for me. It will always wait for me. Um, my practice checklist will always be there. I will always know what I can play. Um, and there is a deep sense of security and um, stability in that um, I, I'm deriving so much comfort from practicing. So yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for saying that. Um, so for anyone who's just listening, Alexandra said, do what you want and need, friend. We are here for the ride. Thank you. Hey, Copano, um, you're wondering how to get on the Discord. Okay, I see that you're a member. Thank you for being a member. I'm going to I'm going to guess that you're asking about how to how to um, get onto the member discord, right? So the member, the YouTube membership discord, I believe I put a link in the video description below this video that shows you how to connect your YouTube account to your discord account. And then once you connect your YouTube account to your discord account within discord, um, my my channel should pop up within discord for you to join because um, you, Discord will detect that you are a member of my community, um, like a paying member. Um, so, uh, yeah, I believe the link is below. Let me just check, double check for you though, that the link is indeed below. Yeah, it's, it's the first link that I put, um, in here. So, yeah, um, I personally, I did find that, uh, guide to be, um, like pretty on point. Um, it's actually less complicated than it used to be. Um, I am a patron of uh, Wong Fu Productions. I'm actually one of their top tier patrons. Um, and uh, so back, like before, like when they had kind of your initial Patreon and Discord integration, um, it was way more complicated than how they've done it now for YouTube. So I'm glad that they've simplified the process. Um, but there you go. Yeah, as Blue Moon says, there you go. If you connect your YouTube account, it should show up. So yeah, there's that guide in the description below. So yeah, we're, we're a pretty quiet community. I would say that I tend to attract a whole bunch of lurkers. <laughs> so it's not like we're like talking a whole, whole lot, but, um, uh, yeah, I am, uh, I've sort of put on the back burner a little bit the the, the virtual meetup uh, just because only one person um, uh, responded to the, uh, like what generally what days and times work for people for a virtual meetup. Um, it looks like I might have to do a lunch hour meetup um, during the week, which sounds like might work for people. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how that works. Um, unsure. I may not be able to do that meetup until like May. Um, so, you know, yeah, a whole bunch of lurkers and then there's me. That's <laughs> all good. All good, Alex. Um, all right. Enjoy your lunch, Michael. Enjoy your lunch. Uh, thank you for dropping by. Hey, Deanna, how are you? Okay. So let's start practicing before it gets too late. Um, I just wanted to kind of like really just kind of like start playing. Um, I have, you know, I really missed, like even though I played a lot yesterday morning, I really missed practicing, which I, I, I think is just such a personal success of mine that I actually have gotten to the point in my life where I miss practicing. Um, and I just kind of felt so like a little empty because I didn't get my like hour of practicing. So I'm very excited to do that right now. Hey Void, <laughs> you lurk often. Yeah, exactly. I lurk too. Like when I, um, when I watch other streamers. 
I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Am I going to use the Woodify variants? Um, I don't know. I think right now, I'm not really in an experimentation mood right now. So, um, as of right now, no. Um, I, I just want the comfort of things that I know right now. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> um, so let's just start with harmonics. Um, and you know, get a little bit of comfort. Comfort is what I need right now. I'm just going to rinse out my mouth a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You know you're a fully grown musician when you miss practicing. Yep. Um, not only fully grown, but like, you know that you've really nurtured a like, you know, at least a healthy um, relationship with your flute, with your instrument, you know, because um, it can be very, like, I used to have practice anxiety, but now I don't, which is amazing. Anyway, let's do harmonics. <laughs> Exactly. Music.exe is now fully integrated. I think I still need to work a little bit on some lip manipulation way up top. Um, so that I think is good for me to know. But let's just keep going. Della Sonorite by Mo Marsa Moyes, page 20. We're doing number 25. We're um, doing interval leaps, jumping from the low F to every other note in our range. And we are starting with... Um, the the changing notes and slurring down to the low f or up to it depending <laughs> that work with like the different woodifies yesterday made me a lot more um, aware of exactly how I can control my mouth. So weirdly enough, all that experimentation made it a lot easier for me to control what I'm doing here today. So I'm feeling pretty darn good about that. Pretty darn good. Also, it helps that I've been doing this for like a few months now, uh, two, 
two and a half months, almost three months. So um, just the repetition of doing this type of thing almost every day, like four or five times a week is, um, you know, it adds up. So um, it's so annoying to sound incredible right at the end of a, dis of a disappointing uh, practice session. <laughs> I know that feeling. I do know that feeling. It's like, really? After all this time? This whole hour? Um, let's see. Uh, you really miss days. Uh, so, so Deanna is saying, I really miss days. I don't get to work on something. Oh, I'm learning still, but I really enjoy that, that time, even if I'm frustrated with the problem. Yeah, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Um, Hello, Victor. Hello. Um, is it Lisa? Is it Lisa or Lisa? Um, how are you? Don't worry about missing yesterday. It's all good. Midnight Moth. Hello. By the way, I really like the fact that you changed the, uh, you somehow changed the font of your username, um, <laughs> which I think is such a feat. Um, I noticed it yesterday, but um, I, I was kind of too distracted with all the Woodify things to say to say it. But hi, how are you? Welcome back. Um, <laughs> um, OK, yeah, I think messing around with the Woodifies yesterday really helped me be more in control of what I want to do. So, yeah, I, I, I will say that, like, reviewing flutes has really um, made me a better flutist so thank you flute center and what if i yesterday <laughs> okay we are now going to um do this exercise completely slurred uh interval leaps <laughs> It could be even uh, more smooth going up really high. Um, so I'm going to try that again. There's just more lip movement that has to happen a little faster, um, but we'll we'll continue to get used to that. It, it's getting better over time, um, so we will do that. Now let's do a little bit of circular breathing, nothing crazy, um, a little bit more of the same. Um, but I think what I want to work on is just not um, plugging the back of my nose when I do it. Uh, that's what I'm concentrating on now. Um, there are quite a few other things that I want to concentrate on in the future once I'm more used to the nose not plugging. Um, I do want to work on that bit when I push the air out from my throat while I'm inhaling. I want that um, air stream to be a little bit more substantial. So, um, but I think that's a later thing because right now I'm still kind of um working on making sure i don't plug the back of my nose so that's what we're concentrating on i'm gonna blow on my hand to feel out the airstream make sure the airstream doesn't stop so Okay, 
it does want to stop. I, I it does want to plug. I can tell, but I at least I have the um, ability now to keep it open. Okay, yeah, I definitely want to work on the like amount of air that I push out um, during the inhale, but at least I wasn't like, I, I could feel that I wasn't plugging the back of my nose. So definitely I still need to connect it better, but one thing at a time, I'm at least not plugging the back of my nose. So we will count that as a success. Um, so, um, yeah, the thing with playing the flute is there's not, you can't hold air in your cheeks. You can't hold much of it in your cheeks at all. Um, so, um, it's mostly coming from here. Um, like if you watch Jasmine Choi do it, you can tell that, um, she only puffs out her cheeks when she, um, does it through the boba straw into the water. But like when she's actually doing it on the flute, you can see that it's mostly coming from here. So, yep. Um, we will do 480 exercises now and also we'll update this for next time. Uh, okay, so 480 exercises, we're doing 328. Um, what is 328? Oof. Okay. There are half scales in fourth. C, C sharp, D, E flat, harmonic minor as well. So that's going to be fun. Okay. Um, we'll give, we'll give it a whirl. I think I'm going to play the E flat harmonic minor scale a few times first um and then we will take it from there so okay <laughs>
did that right? No. Your favorite minor scale is a huge god. <laughs> e flat minor. Yeah. I love E flat minor. Yeah. Did it take me the same amount of time to say the name of the scale as to play it? <laughs> Everything is better in minor. Yes. Hard agree. Hard agree. Just darker and more silky, you know? This is definitely proving to be a little bit of like a mind twister because these are combinations of notes like that I, I just don't normally play. So this is pretty fun.
All right, so it's a little bit of a challenge to keep the focus there because by the time I do it correctly the third time, my brain tends to say, oh, you got it now, and then stops thinking. So I need to keep my brain going into the fourth repetition. There we go. That was four times correct. Oof. Okay. Lots of self-doubt in there. Is that a C or a C flat? Okay, one more time. Saturday. Did I say hi to you yet? Oh, also Slim Dancer. Hello. Welcome. I'm so sorry. I just saw your name in the chat. Uh, I know you talked a little bit earlier in the chat, but hello. Welcome to the stream. Okay. more time for that one. Sean, how are you? Welcome, welcome. You know, I, I feel you on the I miss making music, Alex. Like, 
there's I think once I finally like re-nurtured my relationship with music um on days that like um like especially weekdays if I'm not making music it sucks so like last last week when I had to take a few days off um it sucked it actually really sucked to like like I kept wanting to gravitate towards the flute but like um I was too tired like just physically way too tired for it it was really sad One more time for that one, just because there's a lot of sliding around. Call that good we'll call that good yeah it is a finger twister this one is particularly bad um but i do notice that doing more of these type of finger twisters definitely makes everything else feel a lot easier so there's no music without 80 musicians <laughs> oh blood um You still make music, you miss being part of an 80s, 80 voice choir under the baton of a brilliant director who cared passionately about his students and the music they made together. Oh, Alex, I'm so sorry. Yeah. There's definitely something um, about, like, when you're in a group of people that everyone is, like, in it at the same time with you. Um... There's something really magical about that. Yeah. And it it really sucks when it cuz you know I I um I don't like thinking about it, but everything has an end. Um but I think that knowing that it makes at least it makes me value you know, the joys that we have now. Um, and it sucks. It sucks, and yet it's, it's sort of bittersweet, almost, like, I would say. But, like, I think remembering the joy from experiences like that is, um, is huge. Um, and, like, you can still, like, 
relive those the the happy memories you know um i think it's a bit of a choice you have to like choose to remember how great it was instead of instead of focusing on how how it sucks that it's ended you know so um no i don't think i was hitting a c-sharp fill there sean um oh I, I think i was using these guys yeah apes together strong <laughs> oh thank you for the water check the hydration check nah you're not being a downer i think you're just being real like that's life you know uh good times happens bad times happen and uh there are highs and there are lows and things come to an end everything comes to an end and um i think that like it really is a choice that we make to remember um the joy you know and to focus on the joy so like even in times of darkness focusing on even the little bits of joy that you can get really makes a big difference so was that what if i trial interesting i think so too i definitely think so too yeah so no i feel you man i feel you but like you know you know i i think if i were you i would um i definitely would feel really sad that that type of thing has ended um but um i think that i would try to focus on the joy of the memory you know um and uh yeah it's a bit of a choice you do have some control over what you focus on you know um you don't exactly have control over your feelings, but you have control over what you focus on. Um, so I'd encourage you to do that, you know. But, you know, what do I know? I'm not a therapist. <laughs> All right, let's do some Uber drilling. We're going to drill uh, that little bit in uh, the development section where I just need to keep drilling the feeling of my left fingers only going up and down and not reaching. So let's do this. got to stop it there that was i believe five times so better much better not there a hundred percent but much better and we will take that um okay so i think now we're gonna go forwards through the recap and i am also going to swab while i'm at it You know, I'm really glad that you guys find comfort in, you know, hanging out with me like this. Um, yeah, I think that like, um, you know, in the beginning, I really just did these streams for myself. And I think even now I, I actually kind of am as, as selfish as that sounds. I just enjoy streaming. Um, but I think it really takes me out of my own head. And also um, it kind of helps me feel like I'm not alone and I think in doing that you guys don't feel alone you know so yeah I'm really thankful for you guys uh, what 
What is going on here? I apparently need to clear my cookies. Okay, I cleared my cookies. Cool. Oh, sorry, give me a second, guys. I need to put you guys on the break screen for a second. I'll be right back.
that, guys. Um, I I just found out that my editing software just like blew up my computer with a bunch of temporary files. So I just deleted 1.4 terabytes of temporary files because otherwise my computer just could not keep going. <laughs> so I apologize for that. We're going to keep going. Um, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yay, editing. So anyway, that's fun. Um, <laughs> shall we? We're going to continue. Um, and then I need to head off for lunch. So here we go. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, I see I never switched off of the sleep microphone. Sorry. Okay, but we're going to stop playing. Tone is a little fuzzy, so I'm going to see what's going on there. Yes, you heard that right. 1.4 terabytes of temporary files. So um, I think I didn't see where the temporary files were being stored. And then it just like blew up my computer, basically. <laughs> Do you want to do that one one more time? Almost. I think I need to leave it and we'll come back to it tomorrow. It's getting better though. Okay, continuing.
it's the same issue. I think I still want to reach um, and compensating a little bit with my mouth too. Hey, Melanie, how are you? Welcome back. How are you? So the problem is, like, I think I'm wasting my breath, um, and then that's distracting me during that really long phrase. So I'm just going to think about that a little bit more. lip is a little bit uh tight finding it hard to relax it and be flexible with it and i feel like that is kind of making it a little bit stuffy so started a mission in may of last year lived in utah for three months and then you had to come home for medical reasons and now serving at home that's great melanie that's great <laughs> All right, let's do this again.
Okay. We're going to leave that. I can definitely feel um, my my mouth and my, my lips are not really wanting to do what I want them to do. <laughs> uh, like I know what I need to do, but they're not really doing it today. So you know what? We're, we're, we're going to leave that. Um, we'll keep going. We'll do the last section here. Water break. Thank you. Um, I think I do actually have stickers. So you potentially could already put a sticker on your um, on your water bottle. I don't think I have water bottles though. I don't think so. Um, but I think I'm. I'll see if the store does water bottles now. Um, they might have before, but maybe I didn't like how my design looked on it. But now with the little circle version that I have on my DDR pad, I might do it. Okay. Sad excuse of a whiteboard first. <laughs> having some trouble um, controlling my left hand fingers today. I think it's because I'm really thinking about them going up and down instead of stretching and it feels weird.
is better. Uh, but yeah, I think I, I do a lot of stretching for the cadenza part too, because it feels so different with only my fingers going up and down. <laughs> hey, Steven, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Thank you. I just had to get used to how that feels only going up and down because holy cow, that feels very different. Much easier, but very different from what I was doing before. So that was fun. Um, mm, my tone is a little stuffy now. It's it's gotten progressively stuffier as as the hour has gone by. Um, you know, I th I think sometimes sometimes that's just what happens. Oh well. Um. Like I can feel that my my lip and my mouth, my lips are just kind of resisting staying relaxed. Um, and also my mouth is just like feeling really cramped. I think it's because it could be, honestly, it could be because my, my computer like, you know, randomly blew up on me just now. And then I think that just like knocked me off course. Um, but oh well. It is what it is. Stuff happens. Um, so we'll spend the last few minutes doing some Rapid as Wildfires. Um, just for fun. Um, I think I was memorizing uh, like a, a part in the middle. So let's do that. I think it's connecting to that part that like my brain sort of short circuits.
Thomas. My, my brain is always just a tad, a tad late thinking about what comes next. Ooh. I'm going to bet that's going to be better tomorrow. I'll bet it'll be better tomorrow. But for now, we need to clean up so I can get to lunch. Okay. Woo. Um, there is actually a very close relationship between um, uh, heavy metal and classical. Um, very, very, like, there's like a, you know, a really cute little, like, kind of history between um, heavy metal and, and classical. It's awesome. It is really awesome. But time to clean up. So let's do this. Um, Hey, Melanie, did you just take your flute out? That's great. Um, all right. See you later. Is it Deanna that is, wait, who's, who, someone, someone is, uh, someone's, well, I'm leaving now too, so. Uh, you're welcome, Victor. Thank you so much for joining as always. All of you guys, thank you so much for joining as always. Uh, that felt really good. Really good. Um, definitely got a little off kilter um, when my computer told me that it was blowing up with temporary files. Um, so, you know, that's fun. Um, I think I need to re-log into um, a bunch of things because I cleared all my cookies. So that's fun. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Um, seriously, you guys. Um, you guys are the best. Thank you for just, you know, being wonderful and like just hanging out with me. Um, it's, it's just, it's really fun to do this. And um, yeah, last week when I couldn't do this, oh, I was so, uh, like I didn't know what to do with myself. It was just like, like I was like, I just, I want to just be a nerd and just do nerd flute things. And like, I just did not have the, uh, the energy to do it. So yes, we're wrapping up, we're wrapping up, we're done. So I'm just making sure it's nice and dry. <laughs> there we go, nice and dry. Uh, so I am, I also do this. I don't know if you guys notice this, but I always wipe the riser uh, down 
because a lot of gunk can um, build up there and, and it can actually make your sound kind of stuffed up and fuzzy um, if you let gunk uh, build up there. So like um, it's the, the type of gunk is like probably like uh, skin, um, uh, oils, uh, just general dirt, basically dust, uh, lint, that type of thing. Um, and it can really build up. Um, and, uh, yeah, it can actually, like, kind of muffle your sound. So, um, um, I like to wipe it down, um, every time before I put it away. Now, you guys are probably wondering what I'm doing here. Because this is wood, um, it does grip on to my, um, my, uh, like, my, not only my oils, which is actually good for the wood, but it does, I notice that it grips onto, like, the general kind of, like, skin cells and, and, and grit on my face. Um, and so every now and then I have to kind of rub off the, um, the excess, like, buildup that gets on my, my lip plate. I know that sounds so gross, but, like, in case you guys are wondering why I'm rubbing the uh my lip plate uh with my thumb that that is that's what i'm doing right now so yeah there's there's a, oh you guys do not want to see my nail right now my nail is disgusting with all this build up because i haven't done this in a few few days now i think so um but yeah i do like to kind of do this to like sort of like re-oil the wood also kind of gross but apparently um just your your natural oils is really good for the wood so that that's how i was I, I was told that i basically did not have to care for the wood here because the um the oils from your your skin um is actually perfect for keeping the wood treated so yeah um is it weird that i use my face to oil my own head joint lip plate maybe Maybe it is weird, but it works. It's nice. <laughs> Generally crusty stuff, exactly. Oh, I should probably wipe the tenons too, eh? There we go. Um, okay, let me just... Wiping everything down, just wipe it all down. There we go. Um, but yeah, I wipe down the keys as well. This is not you don't you guys don't have to do this. It's just that I'm a very, very oily person. So you will see me always wiping this down. So this is just for anyone who's joining in for the first time and just kind of lurking and seeing what I'm up to. Um yeah, I do this at the end of every stream to kind of uh, not not really to like it, originally it wasn't to demonstrate um you know cleaning up or to like set an example or anything this is just legitimately what I do after every practice session um and you kind of get used to it it doesn't take a long time but yeah I'm not very I'm not like rubbing the mechanism super hard um it like I'm just rubbing it just enough to get most of my finger oils off of the keys so you know, that way, um, you know, it, it kind of stays intact a little bit longer. <laughs> um, uh, you know, so I have been told that I take great care of it, um, by Phil, um, who, uh, he fixed my flute before, did a COA on it before, so. And then as always, I like to, uh, put away, uh, all my items. So I have like a nice clean desk. To work with because that is how you can keep your mind nice and at ease as you work so just folding everything up i like to put my swab on my flute case so it can dry it looks really nice like that but yeah there you go so i'm all cleaned up i'm about to go eat lunch so i'm going to take off my silicone ring and exchange it for my wedding ring done we're all ready to go so uh 
it's somewhat relaxing getting everything in order yeah before this i'm not joking i was watching a video of a lady just cleaning her house and it is like actually the most relaxing thing ever <laughs> so yeah um anyway yeah it was so nice catching up with you too melanie um yeah so um Oh, you want to service your flute, but you you feel you'll be losing parts of its previous two owners. I feel that. I feel that. Um, someone made a mark on my my my, my mateki. Um, that part was never lost in the cleanings. <laughs> I'll show it to you guys sometime. I've showed it to you guys before, but it's been a while. But anyway, um, I'm I'm done. So um, I will see you guys later. I'm gonna get my lunch break, and then there'll be a few lessons this afternoon. So be a good time and then um maybe some editing later as well hopefully i can get some editing done today um uh, but anyway um i love you all so very very much please stay happy healthy and safe and um i will see you guys um tomorrow tomorrow at 4 p.m pacific so take care of yourself to the best of your ability because there's no music without the musician i will see you guys later bye <music>